hired people, so we are going to check out Green Grotto Cave close to Ochina St. Anne. But no cameras are allowed, so we are going to try to see if we can get some footage of the caves before they catch me and hide me in one of the holes down in the cave. No, no, they're not hiding in the cave, but them say no camera allowed. We are going to try to see if we can get some footage so we can show you what the inside of the cave looks like. See, Jamaica Uncut Road Trip. Wish me luck. Welcome to a mesmerizing journey into the depths of Green Grotto Cave, one of the most enigmatic natural wonders on Earth. Dating back millions of years, this cave holds a secret history waiting to be unveiled. As we venture deeper into the cave, we are transported to a time when Earth's landscape was vastly different. Formed by the relentless forces of nature, Green Grotto Cave is a breathtaking marvel of geological artistry. Its majestic stalagmites and stalactites provide a glimpse into the ancient world. The vibrant green coloration of the cave walls is a result of unique minerals and microorganisms that reside here. But the story of Green Grotto Cave goes beyond its stunning aesthetics. Archaeologists have discovered ancient artifacts within its depths, shedding light on the lives of our ancestors. Tools, pottery, and even remnants of early civilizations have been unearthed, giving us a window into their daily lives. It is a testament to the rich human history that has long been forgotten. Exploring Green Grotto Cave is like stepping into another world, a world frozen in time. Beyond its scientific and historical significance, this cave also holds a spiritual allure. Many believe that it possesses healing properties and a connection to the spiritual realm. Visitors who enter its embrace often feel a sense of tranquility and awe. But this journey is merely a glimpse into the vast expanse of Earth's history. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary adventure. Get lost in the caves. I'm about to say. Bump your head. People also remember that this cave once was a nightclub. Believe me, them used to have a nightclub in the cave, people. In the early 2000s, they had a nightclub in here. But then again, at Jamaica, so what do you expect to happen? A lot of cave babies. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. You're going to see small openings or large openings. We call all of them twilight zones. Watch your head right here from the green. The whole reason why we call them twilight zones, it is because it helps to ventilate the cave system. Yes. Those areas are also where the bats used to go out at night to search for food. Is it natural or um, cut out? All natural. Mm -hmm. All right, and we have nine different species of bats in here. What? Yes. In Jamaica, you can find up to 21 different species. About here, yeah. Here we have nine, and they feed on either fruits, insect, or nectar oh, from flowers. Look at them, Madison. You see them? Yeah. Look where she pointed. Oh, okay. The ones that feed on insects, they can eat up to one thousand mosquitoes per hour. <laughs> I want bats at my house. <laughs> I don't right? want bats. All right. So they are nocturnal creatures. All of it. Yeah, they're gonna yes. eat all of it. They sleep at day but go out at night to search for food. And I can you see the ones that feed on fruits? They drop the fruit seeds on the ground and they try to grow. So Peter's afraid of bats kill the ones. There are thousands of bats that live inside of this cave here. So if you know if you're afraid of bats, you may be wanting twice about this story. Oh, that is no, when they drop the seeds, they try to yeah, go. Well, you don't have any sunlight in like here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The bat poop, it is an excellent fertilizer, and it's known as methane gas in it as well. Adding sulfur to that, you can get explosion. You could also use the bat poop to make gun powder. Mm -hmm. Wow. But I know your lashes to grow, right? Yeah. Yeah. Watch right. your head. <laughs> so 
Now we are in the runaway cave. Do you actually see a way out through this escape route? So say for instance, we are running away for our lives from the plantation. We see the escape road right there. And we see this opening up here. Which one would you do? No, but the opening no. is going to be the obvious choice. Why so they hide? Do they hide? That's what it is? The reason why the escape road is because it goes under the main road. There is an opening at the end of it. And from that opening, the ocean is visible. Oh. Yeah. So Jamaica was once a Spanish-speaking country. And the last Spanish governor of Jamaica, history has it that he used the escape route right there to escape from the British when they had the Three Year Rebellion. So not only did our African ancestors had to use these caves to escape for their lives, but also the Spaniards. And they had also found artifacts in here, and it proves to be of the very first people to live on the island. Tainos, or you may call them Arawak Indians. So history has it that they use this cave for shelter too. So this cave is called Runaway Cave because more than one, more than two, different types of people use it. Okay. Watch your head. So we are doing two caves today. So we have an underground lake down there, but in order for us to view that lake, we will have to go down 65 steps. All right, fun. and there's no other option but of those 65 steps. Yes, if you don't want to come down, you can wake up. Watch your face up there. Yeah. Oh. No, what we look that's a reflection of. So the reason why this water is so crystal clear, yeah. it is Very because good. limestone it filters <laughs> and also purifies underground water. So this body of water here, it is brackish, mm -hmm. which means salt and fresh. So we have an outside lake and that outside lake is connected to the ocean. Now, being that the outside right here, it is connected to the outside lake, we get the fish from there. We have fish, we have crabs, and we also have crayfish in here. But they are small. The only possible way for you to see a big fish in here is if the fish comes in small, eat, get fat, and can't get out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and they were here at one point, but they were blind because they were confined to just this area. They couldn't leave at all. But these ones, they can leave whenever they want to. But this is like a safe place for them. So it's 19 feet at its deepest point across there. If you should put your hand in front of your face right now. It's such a coincidence that the bats poop directly in the eyes, providing mascara. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a reflection. It seems as if the rock is coming from underneath. underneath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
You don't have no kind of can that's a credit card. Hold on, let me see what's happening. Wow, it's far down. Can you tell, can you see this and do not believe in God? Cave actually dig out and form. Or is it just the stalactites and stalactites of over time just building up? Grown, built until it formed this over time. Alright, yeah. people, so we're there in a green grotto cave, and as I said before, cameras aren't allowed, so we just are sneaking a camera and showing a little bit of our go on. We are going to the next story now, so I hope you enjoy this. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you don't want to tour, man, we will talk to you. Come on. Come on. Okay. Now, if you notice, it is not coming from the top or it is not coming from the ground. This rock right here, it is coming from the side. Mm -hmm. All right? So it is alone. Did you notice that the rocks on the outside, they were totally different from these ones on inside? inside yeah. Alright, that's also the reason why we have black sandy beaches too, it's volcanic true. ash. Mm -hmm. And also the reason why we have hot water springs. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so on behalf of myself along with the Green Greta management and staff, thank you for taking the time out to come and visit us. It was a pleasure. I'm going to ask you to bend one last time. We're going through here. <laughs> so that was a green grotto cave tour and it was an experience and I strongly recommend that you guys give it a try if you're ever in Jamaica on the Ocho Rio side check it out you learn a lot and you see a lot and it's a vibe so until we meet again Jamaica uncut cut out